What's up guys? Thanks for stopping by to check out another video. If you're new to the channel, my name's Dusty Mac. Build cars, build trucks, uh, crazy shenanigans, uh, all things automotive, fabrication. But today's video is going to be a little bit different than our normal builds. We were building the 78 C10 shop truck. Took a brief pause to go do this video that you're about to see now. Still got my 66 F100 that you see here. Yeah, and I know, sun's out, gun's out. Uh, <laughs> anyways, we still got my wife's 70-something 240Z Datsun build that we got to do. So, today's video is a little bit different. But basically, my cousin Brian found out that he's having twins. And just so happens, he's had this Fox Body Mustang for about five years. He had the LS motor for about the same five or six years. He was going to originally put it in a different car. Long story short, the build's kind of stalled out. He's had other things going on in life, hunting, fishing, loving every day. <laughs> so uh, we made a plan that we were going to go attack it, do as much as we could on it in one day. So basically, we had to rebuild almost the whole engine outside of taking out the pistons and the crank. So you'll see that process. Our plan was to hit it hard, hit it hard, and try to get the engine in the car and possibly get it fired up. Did we get it fired up? Did it blow up? I don't know. But if you want to see us build a drag racing monster machine, Cletus, Daddy Dave, Big Chief, uh, Mustang Mike, you want to see us go after all them guys? <laughs> this ain't the car that's going to do it. But it's going to be an awesome build. Hope you guys enjoy it. If you want to stay tuned and keep updated on our other videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Let's get on with the video. Peace out, guys. You've owned the car five years, and you're just now cracking down to build it. What would you say lit a fire up under you? Twin girls. Why do you like cars and trucks? Because I'm not riding a camel or a mule to work, buddy. <laughs> I'm at my cousin's house, hands on a motor that's the baddest motor on the planet. Today, we're building a six second quarter mile <laughs> Time out, bro. I don't, think, I don't think it's gonna be that fast. We're building a five second quarter mile drag car. Fox body, LS, two guys, and a tranny. Stick around. See <laughs> <laughs> if you know, you know. If you ain't talking projects, we don't want to talk. My name is Brian Hicks, and this old girl is a 91 Fox Body Mustang. Describe your car in three words. She don't run. <laughs> she don't run right now. But we're going to change that. Why do you like cars and trucks? Because I'm not riding a camel or a mule to work, buddy. Tell us how you got the car. I stole it <laughs> from Dominic Toretto. Because <laughs> he didn't want that smoke when I pulled up on him. Um, an eventual goal for the car is to go turbo. And I would say uh, get within the 10 to 11 second range for the quarter mile. I didn't choose a Fox Body Mustang first. Uh, I had, I want to say it was a 70 like a 78 Datsun and uh, we were about to LS swap it a few years back and we crawled up under the car in the rear end and where the subframe connects to the rear end was extremely rusted out so we didn't feel safe trying to put a V8 in it. You've owned the car five years and you're just now cracking down to build it. What would you say lit a fire up under you? Twin girls. I'm a big outdoorsman. I like hunting and fishing and just being outside in general, so I really didn't devote a lot of time to actually getting the car right. 
I got twin drills coming, uh, or late July, early August, and really want to have the car ready to go when they get here so I can spend time with them and not have to worry about trying to wrench on a car and babysit at the same time. So, you got it warm me, bro. Everything. <laughs> three words. Describe your car in three words. She don't run. <laughs> she don't run right now. But we're going to change that. So tell us a little bit about the parts and stuff that you bought for this. Oh, uh, I got the 4.8 from a guy. Really don't even know where I got it from. It's been so many years back. But I got the 4.8 from him. And I decided to go through the parts and make sure that anything that could have been a potential problem was going to be safe and, uh, you know, reliable. So I got a new timing chain, a new oil pump. I got new push rods, uh, rockers, starter. Um, I got a 2800 uh, stall converter, new timing chain, new timing sprocket. And I got a CTSV oil pan. I got a BTR NSR cam. Um, obviously, I got some speed engineered headers and some stuff like that. Just to make the car more reliable and also give it a little bit more pep than stock i got a factory 4.8 liter harness and i got my boy brandon granger to uh go through it and he uh reloomed it and got everything perfect on the connectors and he actually labeled each one of the connectors so he wouldn't be spend hours trying to figure out what goes to what these are just some uh weld bullet hole wheels um for my suspension i got an aje tubular front k member um, I haven't upgraded control arms yet. I really wanted to get the car running and driving before I did that, but I did upgrade the K-member. Um, and you have to run a CTSB oil pan on the 4.8 for the clearance for the K-member in the oil pan. Because when this car does a wheelie, I don't want any... <laughs> I don't want it to smack back down and have any type of cracking on the oil pan or anything like that. What would you say to the haters? I don't have haters. They're just jealous, broke, bitter fighters. I used to tinker on cars with my grandpa when I was a kid. And my father, we would all the time be outside swapping engines or trying to fix something before work the next day. See this? Daddy Dave, when your charge pipe is cut slam in half and you ain't making no boost and you get beat by a 14 second fox body, <laughs> I'll make your rules up, baby. I just followed the game, son. <laughs> You're probably wondering why I'm sleeping on the engine horse. It's because I sold my bed for race car parts. <laughs>
crazy daddy day's gonna get beat by a junkyard Chevy, ain't it? So, if you broke, but you're trying to build a race car, and you don't have... When he says broke, he's talking about me. <laughs> you gotta make what you need. So we gotta clean the uh, threads out, this head bolt. Take your grinder, grind your little relief spot, give the dirt somewhere to go. Works like a champ. Instant mod for 200 horses. For you haters that don't believe it works, what do you see coming out right there? That's dirt. Looks like shavings off of a Dodge transmission. Did. Alright, so what are we. Stop. <laughs> Tell everybody what we're doing right now. We're coming for that number 10 list on the No, I'm out. saying, what are we doing right now? We're about to. Uh, no, what are we waiting on? <laughs> we're waiting on my cousin. What happened? Park store. Pretty sure he's in West Mississippi. No, but what happened to make him have to go to the parts store? I forgot a part. <laughs> nah, I ordered the head bolts, but the way that the guy at O'Reilly's is, he gave me the wrong ones. <laughs> Two hours till TX2K cash days. And no, we're not making test hits. Straight off the trailer to the final. What are we doing? Looking for tools. Which Going one? 10 millimeter. <laughs> Where'd it go? Sorry, playing with headphones. You had it last. I can't find that because he's on here getting famous. <laughs> he's got 12 people watching. <laughs> <laughs> That's hurtful. <laughs> hey, Hicks. Where was the 10 mil? I put it in my pocket because I didn't want to lose it. All right. We can resume race car procedures now. How'd it go? What is up with your door? It's a shit box. <laughs> we gotta go get a pizza and some barks. It's a crap box. Alright, this is the first time closing the door. <laughs> So what's the likelihood that we're going to get her crunk up today? Right now about a 62% chance. Need a knock sensor, some faith, a whole lot of luck. We're going to see. <laughs> yep. We think this is going to give us fuel. But really, we're gonna eat this and be like, well, we'll yeah, finish she, it next weekend. Yeah, she next week. You know, ready? Watch him take both of them. You damn right. Don't leave none for us. So, so far, we got the CTSV oil pan on, oil pan gasket, the new pickup, cams in. New lifters are in, new rocker arms are in. Um, new oil pump, new timing chain, new timing all gear. Motor mounts are on, starter's on. Almost about to put it in the car.
it too. We need a little bit more reach. Get her on out, John. No cuts. Let's get it, dude. Out here, son. That's how close we are, boys. What you think? About to put this bolt in and beat Daddy Dave. Let's go, son. So what just happened here? <laughs> we got it running, son. Six, five years in the making? Five with the car and maybe six with the motor, I want to say. That's maybe. right. So the beast came to life. 1,200 horsepower drag racing machine came to life. I kind of like this old cam is. It's crazy. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you want to see more about the Fox, drop it down in the comment. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the next one. Drop a like. You ain't talking projects.
We don't want to talk. I don't want it. Let's go. We out.